Hi everyone, long time no see. I know I always keep saying that I want to vlog more and I keep just getting way too overloaded with other stuff. So I'm really glad to finally be able to find the time to sit down with you guys and update you guys on some of the adventures I've been up to lately. Um, but first and foremost, in my last time lapse, a lot of you guys noticed that I said the word fiance. So I guess there's no hiding it anymore. Uh, I am engaged. Ah! And I actually got engaged in November of last year. So it's been a while. Um, I wasn't sure how to announce it or if I should announce it publicly. Um, all of my friends and family know, of course, but I didn't know if I should make like an engagement video or just post it or make a vlog. And so I had been pushing it back and you know, I got super busy with the holiday sales and everything like that. So the longer I pushed it back, the more I realized, hmm, it might be awkward if I say it now. It might be more awkward if I say it now. And then um, here we are today. So better late than never. I did get engaged to my boyfriend. Um, we have no wedding date set yet. It'll probably be a year from now. I'm pretty excited. Um, in case you're wondering about my ring, I think I also showed the ring accidentally in another video as well, but it is a an opal ring that has little diamonds around it. Opal is not my birthstone, but it is my favorite stone and I just love them. They're so trippy and ethereal and I love that they have a lot of different colors depending on the lighting. So. I'm really, really happy with the ring. He did a great job. I actually don't know anything about wedding planning. I'm trying my best to fit everything into my schedule this year. I do have a solo show coming up this summer. I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be at Sally Center Grade Gallery in Denver, Colorado. Same location as my solo show and meetup last year. So I'm gonna have a meetup again. Um, and I'm just really excited to plan all that and get a chance to talk to you guys. I also, over the holidays, went to Thailand for two weeks. And when I came back, I was ready to get back to work and catch up on everything I missed. And then I fell victim to this really <laughs> intense flu season that we've been having. I know probably 80% of everyone that I know in real life um, has gotten sick. So this year has been particularly nasty in terms of the flu and I was bedridden for like two weeks. I was just super sick. I was unable to do work. I was nauseous, high fever. So after that whole debacle, I guess, um, I had missed four weeks of work total. I'd missed two weeks when I was in Thailand, two more weeks after when I got the flu. So I've been just really, really, really trying to catch up on everything and make sure that everyone gets what they need on time. So I've also been meaning to put out a Thailand vlog because I recorded some really awesome footage when I was there. We went scuba diving and saw some really, really cool sea creatures and I'm so inspired now to paint the ocean. This vlog is just going to be a hodgepodge of all of my adventures from the last, I guess, three months and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm going to stop rambling now. The highlight and focus of my trip to Thailand was definitely scuba diving. We lived aboard a dive boat for four days and visited the Similan Islands, which is off the southwest coast of Thailand. Other than eating and resting, we pretty much would just dive. We woke up at 6 a.m. every day and completed four dives, two in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one after sunset, which was a night dive. I was lucky enough to be diving with a buddy who had a GoPro and we were able to capture some breathtaking footage of this underwater magical world that normally we don't really get to see in our everyday lives. One of the reasons why I fell in love with scuba diving so fast is because it almost feels like a chance to visit an alien world, except it's here on our own planet Earth. 
it's simply under the ocean. And when you're under the water and exploring all the beautiful landscapes and looking at all these incredible sea creatures, it really helps you kind of find some sort of inner peace. You're not really focused on any of the normal things that stress you out in your everyday life. You're just becoming almost lost and integrated with this really peaceful underwater environment. After our dives were completed, we actually took some time to visit this small little village that's accessible only by boat, and I think there are only around 200 inhabitants. Our boat docked at a small beach town called Kaolock, which definitely has a more chill and laid back vibe when compared to bigger cities like Bangkok. But we were still able to find so many fun things to look at and visit. There was even an art gallery where people were painting and selling their artworks, which I thought was so lovely. And not to mention the food was absolutely fantastic. In Thailand, no matter how big the city is or how small the town is, the food is always A+. And we were able to find so many options in night markets, on the streets, um, at restaurants. This is one of my favorite desserts I had. I think it's called a coconut roti and it's made with this yummy, flaky, pastry, real coconut meat and condensed milk. Super yummy. I'd also like to give a shout out to all the adorable animals who graced me with their presence and made me smile throughout my trip in Thailand. It was so hard traveling for two weeks and being away from my pets back at home, so having adorable animals to keep me company while I was away really did make it so much easier. After Kaolak, we were on our way to Bangkok. I had never been to Thailand before, so I really wanted to see the two different ends of the spectrum. I had visited the chill, laid-back beach town and been living on a dive boat, and now it was time to explore the urban jungle of Bangkok. And one thing I loved about the time of year that we visited was that it was right after Christmas and before New Year's, so everywhere you looked, there was some giant shopping mall with the most extravagant Christmas and holiday decorations I had ever seen. After completing 13 dives and living on a dive boat for four days, I was ready to get pampered and just relax in Bangkok. There were so many affordable manicure and massage options. My friends and I definitely took advantage of those. We also loved exploring all of the various night markets that are very characteristic and special to Bangkok. No, we did not try any bugs. We were <laughs> way too chicken, but we did indulge ourselves with some delicious food. Sorry, I feel like most of this vlog is just me showing you guys footage of food, but I can't help it. This is kind of why I go on vacation most of the time. I'm pretty sure my top highlight of this trip, other than, of course, scuba diving, was eating all the delicious food in Thailand. I think my friends and I would have more than three meals a day for sure. We never went a second where we felt hunger. We simply went from satiated to extra bloated. We just wanted to try everything we could before the vacation ended. Mm -hmm. 
After we were done being lazy and stuffing our faces with food endlessly, we actually did make some time to see one of the most beautiful attractions in Bangkok, which is the Grand Palace. This type of rich and opulent architecture was unlike anything I've ever seen. I had visited palaces before, but I think the Grand Palace was definitely a standout based on just how many details they're able to fit into every small square inch of all of the buildings here. And finally, we concluded this long two-week trip by celebrating New Year's Eve in Bangkok. We were fortunate enough to get a seat near the water with the most fantastic view of the fireworks. It was truly an unforgettable trip and I'm so grateful I got to see this beautiful country with all of my dear friends. Oh, and before I forget, here is a belated update to my animal charity donation project. I just want to thank all of you guys who purchased prints from my shop this past holiday season. All of your generous sales really helped me reach my goal of donating $1,000 to the ASPCA, which helps rescue and rehome animals. So I want to thank you guys for helping me contribute to one of my favorite causes. Hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. I also wanted to take a moment to quickly thank everyone who sent me postcards this past holiday season. I read all of them and you guys are the sweetest. It really makes me feel like I have a lot of friends and family in many different parts of the world and I'm so grateful for all of your support and your kind wishes. So thank you guys so much for sending me anything, even a letter, a postcard, samples of your work, presents. Um, I love getting stuff from you guys in the mail. It really, really makes me feel connected to you guys in like a real world, real person way. So thank you. Alrighty guys, that is it for the vlog today. Thank you all so much, um, especially everyone who's watched this entire thing beginning to end. You guys are troopers. And for those of you who don't like vlogs, I am sorry. Um, a, an art video is coming out really soon. So. I really enjoyed catching up with you guys and again thank you all to everyone who comments, likes and subscribes. Um, it really really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys have an awesome lovely day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!